Hanak Enoch 69. After this judgment, they shall be astonished and irritated, for it shall be exhibited to the inhabitants of the earth. Behold, the names of those angels. These are their names. The first of them is Shemiyaza. The second, Artistak Afa. The third, Armen. The fourth, Kakabael. The fifth, Tur-El. The sixth, Rumi-El. The seventh, Dani-Al. The eighth, Ka-El. The ninth, Barak-El. The tenth, Azazel. The eleventh, Armors. The twelfth, Batari El, rather Batari Al, the thirteenth Basasa El, the fourteenth Anan El, the fifteenth Turi Al, the sixteenth Simapisi El, the seventeenth Yatar El, the eighteenth Tuma El, the nineteenth Tar El. The twentieth, Ramel, the twenty-first, Azazel. These are the chiefs of their angels, and the names of the leaders of their hundreds, and the leaders of their fifties, and the leaders of their tens. The name of the first is Yakun, the rebel. It was he who seduced all the sons of the holy angels and causing them to descend on earth, led astray the offspring of men. The name of the second is Kesabel, who pointed out evil counsel to the sons of the holy angels and induced them to corrupt their bodies by generating mankind. The name of the third is Gadrel. Rather, Gadrel. He discovered every stroke of death to the children of men. He seduced Khua and discovered to the children of men the instruments of death, the coat of mail, the shield, and the sword for slaughter, every instrument of death to the children of men. From his hand were derived to them who dwell upon earth from that period forever. The name of the fourth is Penne Mui. He discovered to the children of men bitterness and sweetness and pointed out to them every secret of their wisdom. He taught men to understand writing and ink and paper. Therefore, numerous have been those who have gone astray from every period of the world, even to this day. For men were not born for this. Thus, with pen and with ink, to confirm their belief, since they were not created, except that, like the angels, they might remain righteous and pure. Nor would death, which destroys everything, have affected them. But by this their knowledge they perish, and by this also power consumes. The name of the fifth is Kasiaddi. He discovered to the children of men every wicked stroke of the Ruach Tot, rather Ruach Ot, and of devils. 
the stroke to the embryo in the womb to diminish. The stroke to the Ruach by the bite of the serpent and the midday stroke of the offspring of the serpent, the name of which is Kabeat. This is the number of the Kash Ba'el, the principal part of the oath which El Elyon, dwelling in glory, revealed to the Holy Ones. Its name is Becca. He spoke to Holy Mikael to discover to them the sacred name that they might understand that secret name and thus remember the oath and that those who pointed out every secret thing to the children of men might tremble at that name and oath. This is the power of that oath, for powerful it is and strong. And he established this oath of Eki by the instrumentality of the holy Mikael. These are the secrets of this oath, and by it were they confirmed. Heaven was suspended by it before the world was made forever. But, rather, by it has the earth been founded upon the flood, while from the concealed parts of the hills the agitated waters proceed forth from the creation to the end of the world. By this oath the sea has been formed and the foundation of it. During the period of its fury, he established the sand against it, which continues unchanged forever. And by this oath, the abyss has been made strong. Nor is it removable from its station forever and ever. By this oath, the sun and moon complete their progress neither swerving from the command to them forever and ever. By this oath, the stars complete their progress, and when their names are called, they return an answer forever and ever. Thus the heavens have the blowing of the winds. All of them have ruach ot, and are a complete combination of breathings. There the treasures of thunder are kept, and the splendor of the lightning. There are kept the treasures of hail and of frost, the treasures of snow, the treasures of rain and of dew. All these confess and laud before Yahuwah Savaot, they glorify with all their power of praise, and he sustains them in all thanksgiving. While they laud, glorify, and exalt the name of Yahuwah Savaot forever and ever. And with them he establishes this oath by which they and their paths are preserved, nor does their progress perish. Great was their joy. They blessed, glorified, and exalted, because the name of the son of Adam was revealed to them. He sat upon the throne of his glory, and the principal part of the judgment was assigned to him, the son of Adam. Sinners shall disappear and perish from the face of the earth, while those who seduce them shall be bound with chains forever. According to their ranks of corruption shall they be imprisoned, and all their works shall disappear from the face of the earth. 
nor thenceforward shall there be any to corrupt. For the son of Adam has been seen, sitting on the throne of his glory. Everything wicked shall disappear and depart from before his face, and the word of the son of Adam shall become powerful in the presence of Yahuwah, Savaot. This is the third parable of Hanak.